In our latest report on Mississippi's economy, 12 new senior political correspondent Richard Lake sat down exclusively with Mississippi's 65th governor, Tate Reeves. We asked the governor how he plans to ensure every Mississippian can benefit from economic development. Talk to me about the impact of landing that Marshall County project and getting another record-breaking investment from Amazon. We had landed uh, the project up in Marshall County, uh, another $2 billion project. Um, it's going to be the largest project in state history based upon uh, the amount of payroll they have because they're going to have 2,000 jobs uh, making somewhere in the neighborhood of sixty-five dollars to uh, $70,000 a year, so about $100,000. 130 million dollar payroll and then of course the massive investment here in central mississippi which is uh, amazon web services they're going to build two data center complexes they've publicly committed to 10 billion dollars in capex uh, i think it's going to be a lot more than that and they've hinted towards that over uh, the last several months but they also committed to a thousand jobs and i think when all is said and done those thousand jobs will be more than that but even if they're not they're going to be averaging somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 to 80 thousand dollars a year Again, very good wages in Mississippi. The investments Amazon has pledged to make has Governor Reeves hoping for a population increase, fueled by more retail and more housing that could transform the metro. The AWS announcement is going to have an impact, certainly in Madison County, but it's going to have an impact in all of central Mississippi. I, th you know, I wouldn't limit it even to Hines, Rankin, and Madison. I think about Warren County and the prospects. Uh, I think things are going to look different. I think um, we've got a golden opportunity in downtown Jackson. Downtown Jackson has huge potential. Uh, you've seen the state investing more and more into downtown Jackson through the Capital Complex Improvement District. You look at other cities around the south, the city of Jackson is about 20 years behind uh, what we've seen in a lot of the uh, increased investment in the, in the rebirth of the downtown area. I think Jackson is going to see uh, a rebirth. I can't tell you if it's going to happen uh, tomorrow or a month from now, a year from now, or, or longer, but I'm really optimistic about the future of Jackson. We've got a lot of buildings, for instance, downtown that have really good bone. We're not just creating a thousand new jobs, we're creating a new industry. We're creating a new industry that's exciting. It's exciting for young people. Governor Reeves is hoping that this new industry will keep some young talent in Mississippi. How big of a factor will the success of the city of Jackson be in, in retaining that talent? Because at the end of the day, that's our only thing that we can really use to compete with Nashville, Atlanta, Birmingham, Houston. We're not going to rest on our laurels and, and depend upon uh, the city leadership, We're, but we do think that it is important that the city of Jackson um, does well. There are areas in Jackson that are doing very, very well. Uh, the Fondren area, the, there are projects in the Bellhaven area where local businessmen have invested and created created restaurants and created places for people to go, young people want to see that. That's what young people want. We need to see, for instance, Bellhaven and Millsaps continue to get better and grow and, and more students at those two schools and Jackson State, more students at Jackson State is all really good uh, for our capital city and so we want to continue to see that happen. We want to make sure that everybody in Mississippi and everybody in the city of Jackson has an equal opportunity uh, to be successful. We're not going to guarantee that people are going to take advantage of the opportunities that they are given, uh, but what we are working to do is make sure that everybody has that opportunity for success if they as an individual are willing to do it. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.